Bine ați venit! Salut! Salut! Patra, sincera mică, de anul acesta. Pentru cei ce nu știu, ați ajuns la WordPress Meetup. Este întâlnirea lunară a oamenilor pasionați sau care au mâncat și de un pic treabă cu WordPress, dar nu numai. WordPress nu este doar despre Content Management System, care acum ocupă 30% din care este instalat 30% din uh, website-urile uh, active, în de față, și uh, promovează pentru altele și bune practici în web design, în securitate, în ce vreți voi și totodată se bază foarte mult pe comunitate, ceea ce încercăm și noi să întreținem, să clădim nu, nu, uite. aici. Pe doar am testat ah, okay. nu eram conectat. Ce, cam cum se va desfășura întâlnirea, voi prezenta pe scurt câteva știri din, din ultima lună, pe care le-am considerat importante. Apoi vom avea un invitat surpriză, Alex, care ne va ține o prezentare. Și la final vom avea și o sesiune de Q&A și vom ieși aici în hol la o felie de pizza. Uh, între timp trebuie să vii apă, niște bomboane, ce vă face frumos. Sai, da, sai. E ok, e ok, e ok că sunt doar trei standări. Ah, ah, ok, atunci am luat ținut la sine de bine. Ok, I think we have some foreign guests. We'll uh, help them translate or... Perfect. Maybe we'll anyway, continue the... in English. Yeah, we can continue in yeah, English yeah. if everybody's okay. My, my presentation everybody. is in English on the slide, so I can continue in English. It's okay for, for me. Because Go on. Yeah, my slides are also in English. Perfect. Habit of the tree. <laughs> Super. Okay. Last question. So, last month in, uh, in WordPress, we got a new version, of an important version, 5.2. This brings uh, a lot, a lot of uh, updates and new features, but I, uh, although I would have liked to tell you about all of them, I thought, I said it would be best to just uh, tell you three of them that I consider most important. You can always check out on the WordPress website the whole uh, uh, article about what the 5.2 uh, update brings. So the first one is uh, the uh, integrated the plugin uh, health check, which helps uh, users uh, <coughs> service their websites by themselves. They, for, for common problems, they don't need to um, hire a developer anymore to de debug the problem. They can try to solve them uh, by, the, by themselves. And also, it uh, standard, uh, standardized the location where developers can add information uh, that helps others or the users debug. So now, when you look at the debugging information, you know where to find it. You don't have to like search and try to think where the developer put the information. You know it's in one place. Uh, the second most important thing is that um, for years now, and especially since the block editor came out in uh, December, uh, WordPress has been under fire for not being accessible, for not uh, doing, uh, for not taking steps into implementing accessibility in uh, in WordPress. So this update uh, addresses a lot of uh, open issues on GitHub and made some steps. They're still small, but at least they made them and uh, they. Um, they show that they have interest in uh, implementing uh, accessibility uh, for upcoming <coughs> updates. Last but, last but not least, maybe this is something you... Sorry. Uh, maybe this is something you uh, bumped into along the years, uh, the dreaded white screen of death. For those of you who don't know, basically, uh, due to a PHP error or uh, any other serious issue, you when you access your website, you just get a white screen and then it's gone. You cannot do anything. You have to go to your hosting company and uh, maybe Alex will tell us a bit more because he... Do a, a backup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
if but you if only you have, have one hosting don't do backups <laughs> then you're basically screwed no yeah. not screwed no <laughs> have to mm. talk with somebody that did well it's it's pretty bad so uh, what they did in uh, this update they uh, uh, implemented the, the ability to go into a recovery mode so basically if, uh, you wouldn't get just the white screen of that you'd get some uh, way of uh, accessing the website and try to save it from dying so this was it in uh, last month um, as I said, you can access the website. There are a lot of lot of uh, updates in uh, in this version, and they still have. Uh, most recently, they launched 5.2.1, which was a security uh, maintenance. Basically, you will see a lot of, up, of small updates with security issues. And uh, the next important big news, uh, which is not related to the past month, but to the upcoming month, is that uh, the WordCamp Europe will take place in Berlin um, between 20 and 22nd of June. Um, if, you, if it's the first time you hear about this, it's uh, basically a conference that's held once a year, and everybody from, especially from Europe, but also from Asia, from US, uh, and I think they also were from Australia or Japan. They gather in at the, for this uh, three-day conference where they uh, uh, meet with each other, attend the uh, talks, uh, or um, just go to workshops and work together to uh, help out WordPress. But basically, it's more like a huge gathering. So. Uh, some key takeaways is that uh, there, there are, there are 3,000 attendees, there were 3,000 tickets sold, which is a lot, and it's going to be interesting to see how the organizers will cope with the, this number, because last year there were like 2,500, or more or less, and uh, also they uh, have a very huge emphasis this year on uh, reducing uh, the waste and caring for the environment, so uh, Basically, you won't see any plastics or uh, uh, disposable cutlery. Yeah, they just got banned in Europe. No, they will be banned in 2021. Yeah, in two years. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, they, the, they just the, voted the, the, the directive, and <laughs> we, they, we have two years to, yeah. to implement before we implement it. So, uh, uh, if you didn't uh, catch a ticket, I'm sorry, there are no more. <laughs> but you can uh, tweet to, uh, with the hashtag uh, WCEU <laughs> tickets. Anyway, I think if you search for uh, uh, VCEU tickets on Twitter, you'll find a lot of uh, tweets. And maybe somebody has a spare ticket to, to share with you. Uh, also, something that the last thing about WordCamp Europe, because it, it's actually very nice, and uh, I think it's one of the main points of, of this conference is that I, and, uh, last night, uh, so that would be Saturday, Saturday night, uh, there's an after party, and uh, uh, it always has a, a theme. And this year, because it's Berlin and it's very diverse, it's very uh, colorful, and uh, also it's very anchored to the fall of the Berlin Wall, which took place in '89. Uh, the theme will be about the 80s period, so it's going to be interesting how people will dress. You can search for, for images of uh, the last year's after party, which was uh, the space-themed party, and some people, especially from Yoast, had some crazy costumes, but they were really, really nice and uh, creative. Uh, so that was it for WordPress news. Uh, before we move on, I'd like to thank our sponsors because uh, the, the meetup is wouldn't be possible without them. They help us uh, um, have this room, have the refreshments, and make all of us feel comfortable and uh, welcome each month. So uh, first of all, it's the WordPress Foundation. They uh, uh, make huge efforts to grow the community to make to make people understand WordPress is not just a simple software, it's about people, it's about community. 
And, uh, but then they also get help from uh, local or, or not, uh, just most of the, the sponsors you he, see here are local, but not all of them. So I'll just go through them and you can find them also on meetup.com, they have links, you can uh, look, uh, look them up. So it's a crowd favorite, female, A2 Hosting, Hotjar and uh, WP Riders. Uh, also, we have a team of volunteers uh, that each month we try to uh, set up the, the meetup and make you all feel welcome. So, thank you all for coming. And uh, now I'd like to welcome Alex with his talk. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.